Hey guys. All content discussed is due diligence gathered with aim at better understanding the nature of the current market in anticipation of the greatest squeeze in financial history. Let's dive in. First and foremost, we had GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, AMC and COS all run great today. Many have been wondering what exactly has led to this bull rally in all meme stocks and looking at everything happening, I would have to pin it all on Bed Bath & Beyond. The company has an incredibly low float, high short interest and compiled with the rising trend it's experiencing in forum pages like Wall Street Bets, Twitter and YouTube, the stock price has resulted in the concentration of buyers which has elevated the stock to where it is now. Because the same shorting algorithms that press down on Bed Bath & Beyond are the same ones that press on other meme stocks, we also get to see the rest of the basket prop up. I really don't get how people still argue that GameStop, AMC or other meme stocks are not related when in the most significant runs, they all tend to react almost identical. Today, I want to talk about the Fed and the general delusion which dominates current market sentiment psychology. The approach of the markets, inherent in the investors who partake in it, is deeply wrong, and because of their inability to reconsider their approach in bull thesis, consideration for objective truths and realities are being sidelined. There have been two significant time periods in American history where the Fed's credibility to perform its task and carry away its goals have been questioned and put to the test. These two times were in 1930 and 1970, where we saw the Fed fail to adequately perform its tasks and duties. The result of such experiences were major economic pullbacks, which were reflected in the stock market as well. The question we are seeing economists ask now over and over are, can the Fed fight inflation and bring it back under control without cause a spill on the economy where we see a general pullback? Obviously, the only positive the Fed has is this recent CPI report to show for. Everything else suggests the Fed's approach is out of touch. The Fed miscalculated when they provided a forecast for inflation last year, and are now beginning to deal with the reality that growth is beginning to slow down. This is yet another hurdle in which the Fed will have to engineer their way out of somehow. In this channel, we talked plenty about the concept of stagflation, which typically results in a huge market dip and economic pullback. I have said multiple times that it feels like the economy is currently experiencing the effects of stagflation, and that there is much evidence to back up a credible conclusion that we are indeed facing one at the moment. Under the current leadership, the Federal Open Market Committee has lifted the federal funds rate from 0.25% to 2.5%. We now have experts say they expect fund rates to reach 4.4% by the end of 2023, but more careful analysis suggested by Bloomberg sees that estimate as being too generous, estimating the real number to be 5%. I cannot even stress to you guys just how serious and what a big deal this is. If funds rate reach 5%, we will be reaching new lows, much greater than anticipated, and the chances of this market dip lasting a year or so are out the window. We could potentially be in for a general bear market that lasts anywhere from half to a full decade ahead. That actually makes a lot of sense, given that the market has been off the rails since about 2018, and it aligns with the many other changes we are seeing as well. It isn't just a couple economists saying this, some of the brightest people in the financial sector are all saying that things feel different and are projecting a recovery that could take years. The S&P 500 had been rallying without a significant and important pullback for too long and many feel its time has come. The problem is, and this is something we recently talked about, the market is in total denial of this. The market rally that came from the onset of the recession that began in 2020 has led everyone to believe that the stock market can only go up. This comes from the belief that the Fed will always do what is necessary to preserve the stock market from experiencing market conditions. We saw huge growth in retail participation after the pandemic began, and many unexperienced investors don't truly understand that the market is due a cool-off period where things dip and don't experience a huge run subsequently, they just keep on dipping and dipping over time. Investor confidence is simply out of touch with reality as well, and that is just going to create a huge sinkhole. Many now are wondering with the upcoming monetary policy meeting, what Jerome will say. It is hard to predict because Jerome Powell has to pump the markets and say the most positive things, but doing so can create significant problems down the road, even if it makes markets rally for now. It would be much better for Powell to be realistic and set expectations correctly and realistically. Here is the big problem with the Fed and how they are handling recession, and big shout out to Bloomberg for some of their analysis. The Fed will eventually bring inflation back down to 2.5%. The US has had nine recessions from the 1950s through 2009, 
and on average, they cut policy rate by an average of 550 basis points to help bring back growth. The next time around, using the same strategy, the Fed would still be short 300 basis points of stimulus space. The deficit would just be much larger, and this wouldn't be the first time this happened either. It happened in 1929 and the result of their failure was the Great Depression. 2008 was different, because though the Fed did use their typical short-term tools, they also used unconventional ones. Banks were bailed out, they provided forward guidance and purchased bonds worth trillions of dollars to push long-term borrowing costs down. Based on what I have seen, Jerome Powell simply does not have the capacity, nor confidence from others, to carry out such an elaborate move and because of this alone, I am long-term bearish. Sorry for the delay in timing of the video, I was pulled away but wanted to get you guys this little video today. The run we had was amazing but remember, just as they go up, they will come down, so don't freak out and simply ride the waves. I will see you guys tomorrow for another round. Let me know if you think AMC and GameStop will be going up or down and if you are planning to buy in the week. Come over to my Discord and check it out. Other than that, I hope to see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day and to the moon.